Hey guys, good morning. So it is Saturday morning and my kid woke up pretty early. So it's it's an early start for us today. Um, I decided, you know, we just put him down for a nap. So I decided that it would be a good opportunity to get some chores done around that I've been meaning to get to, especially since we're, I think today's actually the opening day of hunting season, even though the forests are closed. So um, super unfortunate, but I'll probably try to go up next week once it's fully um, open again. And, and as part of that, getting ready, I wanted to replace my shoelace, well, one, waterproof my boots that aren't waterproof, and two, replace the shoelaces on my boots that, um, it's just something I do with my boots. I like doing it, um, and I wanted to take a quick video on it. So the first thing I did was get paracord to the same length as my existing shoelaces. And then I'll show you what to do after this. Um, and these are the boots over here that are currently getting treated with uh, some waterproofing. Silicone spray. All right. All right, so the first thing to do is to get shrink tubing. That's gonna be the same size as the diameter of the paracord. So as you can see here, yeah, I should be able to get this through pretty easily. And then what I'm gonna do just to get these to last longer is I'm gonna cut both of these in half and then use half each for my, uh, for, for each of my shoelaces. Just to, I don't know what these things are called, but you know, they get the shoelace through the eyelet easier and it just kind of gives that cool finishing touch and then, you know, makes lacing up pretty easy. So what I'm gonna do first is cut these bad boys in half That's a scientific measure there of half. Those are cut. A cool nick through my workbench here. And then the first goes through. I like to keep a little bit extra on the edge here so I can burn it and, and you know make sure it all sticks, but just to illustrate the point here, I'm gonna leave a little bit extra over the edge. Shrink tubing will shrink to my lace or my paracord here. And then I'm gonna give it some extra here. Oh, not even on camera there. Awesome. Uh oh. Emergency. Just like that, you know, it gives it that, I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty clean looking for a shoelace and you know, it'll give the, the shoes or the boots themselves a real cool vibe. You know, I love the color of just orange on tan. I'm a fan. So I'm gonna do another one here and then I'll save you having to lace them all up together. Well, no, I'll just do all four here. It's a, it makes for pretty quick work. So it's a real easy, you know, low calorie hack to do. And these things are just way stronger than, you know, a normal dry shoelace i mean these things are plenty strong themselves but I, I just like having 550 paracord i know that i can do things with it if i need to and it doesn't break so that's just what i do um you could probably just do the same stuff with regular old shoelaces but these just look way doper and i mean you can make a set for way cheap like i think the shrink wrap, I'll put links in the description to Amazon, it's affiliate links, but the shrink wrap kit that I use 
isn't specifically for laces. Um, shrink tubing is for, you know, wiring things and keeping everything nice and uh, organized as far as like um, cable bunches, shrink tubing after soldering two connections together, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I want to say they're, you know, a couple bucks here and then the paracord's a couple bucks. So you can more or less make infinity laces out of paracord for pretty darn cheap, man. If I were to dedicate just, you know, one length of paracord, a purchase of paracord for shoelaces, I don't think I'd ever have to buy more paracord, but... I like having paracord around. I do a lot of stuff with it. I've towed my car <laughs> with paracord um, into a parking spot after it broke down. So, you know, if it's good enough to tow a car, not recommended, of course. But if it's good enough to tow a car, it's good enough for, you know, keeping shoes on my feet. So, that's four. You know, my waterproof. Shoes over there aren't fully dry yet, but you know, we'll throw the bun there and see how they look. All right, I'm back. They're not fully dry yet, excuse me, but we'll throw one on there to illustrate the point because I'm not trying to wait to be, for these to dry before I finish up this video. Pretty sure I bought these boots on Amazon too. If you're interested in these, I went with these boots as my new hiking boots because they're super lightweight. They're, I think like 13 ounces each. And you know, as far as California hiking and hunting goes, there's not too many, you know, areas where I worry about getting my feet wet. So I went with these, the 13 ounces each, which is uh, effectively a full pound or 16 ounces lighter than my normal leather boots. And, you know, as far as hiking miles go or hiking weight goes, an ounce in the foot's worth a pound on the back, so they say. I don't know who says it, but someone says it. And because someone said it, and because it sounded cool, I believe it, and went and bought these lightweight boots. I'll, again, post an affiliate link because one, it helps me continue to do these videos and post on the blog. And two, you know, I think it's actually a pretty smoking deal that, uh, you know, you can get lightweight boots for Pretty dang cheap, man. All right, so just to give you, you know, a cool idea of what these boots look like now. I mean, that's that's a hot boot, man. That's a good camper's boot. You know, you can probably do camo or something if you really want to, but you know, it's a cool looking boot, right? I mean, it's cooler than, well, in my opinion, it's very subjective. You know, plain old brown that was on it before. So, there you go, man. Easy Saturday morning hacks for the outdoors.